Are you serious? Are you serious? I just received a report. I just received it. I pulled it off Yahoo News. It's by the Inquisitor. According to the University of Minnesota, the CIDRAP researcher, scientist at the University of Minnesota have declared that Ebola is airborne. Now, Ebola is airborne, according to a new report by the Center for Infectious Disease Research and Policy at the University of Minnesota. Researchers at the university just advised the World Health Organization, or WHO, and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or the CDC, that the scientific epidemiologic evidence now exists that proves that Ebola has the potential to be transmitted via inhaled breath and infectious aerosol particles, both, not just not only droplets, not, not only contact or bodily fluids, but air as well, close, close breath, all right? Now, the University of Minnesota's CIDRAP scientists are now warning both healthcare providers and the general public <clears throat> that surgical face masks will not prevent the transmission of Ebola. According to the Airborne Ebola Report, medical workers must immediately be given full-hooded full -hooded protective gear and power air purifying respirators. The uh, University of Minnesota's Center for Infectious Disease Research and Policy has reportedly been a worldwide leader in addressing the public health and safety concerns and preparedness since 2001. In, in the successful containment of outbreaks of infectious disease like Ebola, the correct type and level of personal protective equipment ensures that healthcare workers remain healthy throughout an outbreak. And with the current rapidly expanding Ebola outbreak in West Africa, it's imperative to favor more conservative measures. The University of Minnesota report goes on to note that any action which can be taken to reduce the risk of Ebola exposure should not wait until the scientific certainties develop. The minimum level of protection in high-risk settings should be a respirator with an assigned protection factor greater than 10, a powered air purifying respirator with a hood or helmet offers many advantages over the N95 filtering face piece or similar respirator being more protective, comfortable, and cost effective, effective in the long run. The working theory about Ebola transmission currently being uttered by the CDC and the agency's director, Thomas Frieden, is incorrect and outmoded, according to the University of Minnesota.